Hello, in the video coming up, I'll show you how to use Proton on Steam on your Chromebook. So in my previous video, I showed you how to install Steam Beta on your Chromebook. If you want to know how to do that, have a look on my YouTube channel and you'll find it there. On this video, I'm going to show you how you try to play games that are not specifically created for Linux. So what I'll do is I'll open up my Steam, and this is the Steam Beta, which I installed on my previous video. Just wait for that to start it up. And what essentially happens is, that shouldn't take too long really, let's have a look. If, if It's only been a, a, a couple of days, so it shouldn't make a major difference. But if you leave it for a few weeks, then it will update every time you use Steam because it's always updated, it's on the beta channel. But one thing you will notice, obviously when you're in here, we'll all have different libraries depending on the games that we've purchased previously. But for example, if we click on Age of Empires 3, there we've got available install but it's available for windows here and then if you do age of empires 2 it's available for windows here so this is because these games are not made for linux they was originally made for windows but then if we go down to one which i definitely know is made on the using linux um, such as Civilization, for example, if I can find it. Why is it not there? That's bizarre. Definitely bought it, unless I'm going crazy. Right, well, let's just do Prison Architect because that's also available in Linux. So, as you can see, when you click on one that's available, it just says install, and you can install it and see if it works. Doesn't mean it will work, it's all very experimental at the moment, so you've just, just got to try your favorite games to see if they work. So, that's how it works if it's on, if it's, if it's actually been coded in Linux, the game, so there's no problems there. But if you did want to try games, and I'm not saying Age of Empires 3 works, but if you did want to try that game, one thing you could do, there's two ways of doing it. You can either, it's called Proton, and what it essentially does, it enables you to install and play Windows games on Steam Beta on your Chromebook or on Steam in general on your Chromebook. Now, there's a blanket global setting you can choose, and, and I'll show you that first, but you've also got a setting to choose a different one for each game, and that's really good, because generally speaking, you'd be recommended to use Proton Experimental. Now, that may work for some games, Proton Experimental, but I've had games when I, I installed GTA Vice City, and I couldn't get that to work, so I did a lot of looking around to find it, and there was a certain Proton I had to use to make that work. But if I wanted to play, say, to say that game GTA by City every time, I'd have to go to the global settings and change the Proton setting for that game to work. But then when I wanted to play other games that might use a different Proton setting, I'd have to go, go back up to global. So it's a bit of a faff. So it's okay to use for global, but it's better to use separate ones for the games, depending on what sort of Proton they need. So to do a global setting, what you do, you go to view, and then you go to settings here, and then you go to Steam Play here at the bottom. Now the first thing is here, this isn't enabled. So this, when you install Steam Linux Beta, this is generally enabled. I did uh, take it off because I wanted to show you on, on this. But essentially what this is, this is Steam Play settings. So Steam Play will automatically install compatibility tools that allow you to play games from your library that were built for other operating systems. So this is essentially something that's already essentially got to the stage where it's, it's really good, so there's no issues. So enabling Steam, Steam Play for supported titles, if we click on that, and then do OK, and it will restart the system. OK, so that's restarted the system. Now, if we go to library, if we go to that same game, for example, it's now got the option to install. So that's the first thing I would recommend everybody do that, because then some games may just, you can try to install them. Like I said, I can't guarantee they will work, but you can at least try and then install them. You'll see there's no problem. But then say if we go to Anno 1404, 
it's still not there, okay? It's got available for Windows, so that one isn't there. So again, if you wanted to do a global setting, you go to View, and then go to Settings, and then go to Steam Play. As you see, that's enabled. You'll always want to enable this. But down here, this is for ones which are not yet working, so advanced. You can use Steam Play to test games in your library that have not been verified with a supported compatibility tool. So these ones haven't been verified yet. And you can do enable Steam Play for all other titles. And you can click that and then it will ask you to choose which one. And generally speaking, it's recommended to use Proton Experimental, which is absolutely fine. But if you do Proton Experimental and then you press OK, and again, we just press restart. Okay, and now you've got that set. So if you go to your libraries, they will work anyway because they're already on that first tick box that we use, or they will at least try that you try to install them. And if you go to Anno 1404, you'll see that you can try and install it and see if it works. I know there have been problems with me trying to install this in the past. I am going to try it now on Steam Beta when I get a chance and see what happens. I'm not sure how, how, whether it's going to get to where I need it to be. However, the reason why what I'm going to show you now is better than just a global. That global is set to Proton Experimental. So say, for example, we did do Anno 1404 and we installed it and it all worked fine. That's great. But then if you've got another game that you might want to do, so for example, Vice City, and, 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 and I can't remember what Proton it was, so please ask because I really can't because this is quite a while ago. But um, if, for example, you wanted to use Vice City, the Proton Experimental didn't work for me and you wouldn't want to go up to there, change that, because then when you change that, if you go to try and play another game you've installed, it might not work because you've set it to a different Proton. So you want to do it individually. So just select the game that you want to do individually and you'll see settings here on the right hand side and then click on there, go to properties and then go here, compatibility and then you've got force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. Click on that. And again, you've got Proton Experimental, but we've already set Proton Experimental globally, so it wouldn't make sense just to set it individually for them. So this is only when you want to try a different Proton for a specific game. And then you can then try all the different Proton layers for an individual game rather than changing it globally every time. So I think that's a much better way of doing it. I would set Proton Experimental globally, so that means all games, if they're not, if they're not already compatible, you can use Proton Experimental. But if you want to, if that doesn't work for specific games, I'd do it down to game level. So that's really good. I hope that helps. And I hope, it, as I said, with, with Steam games at the moment on Steam, even if you install Steam just through Linux as standard, and even on Steam beta, you've got to accept that there are going to be some errors. It, it's, a, it's trial and error, but it's now out of the alpha stage, it's now in beta, so it should be better. And it's really good that, you know, we get into a stage where you will be able to play games locally on a Chromebook. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.